Hello friends, today we are going to discuss something about what are hidden beams, also known as slab beams or concealed beams. And even we are going to talk about its advantages and disadvantages. So at first, a hidden beam is a reinforced concrete beam, also known as slab beam or concealed beam, which are the structural members used as the conventional RCC beam. These are provided of the depth equal to the depth of the supporting slabs. So the depth of the hidden beam is same as the slab depth. And here in this video it is noticed that the depth of this hidden beam is equal to the depth of the supporting slab. These concealed beams are popular and form an essential part of modern reinforced concrete frame structures. Lastly, strict and rigid architectural considerations led to the provisions of hidden beams. In this manner, the load coming from the above brick wall can be taken by this hidden beam. The concept of this beam originated from the flat slab concept. Hidden beams only means to spread the concentrated load of the wall on the slab area. These are usually inserted inside the suspended slabs where the slab thickness is considerable. Most commonly in residential RCC structures, these beams are provided between dining and living spaces right angle to each other. This gives a neat and level ceiling surface that's good for the look. Then the design of this hidden beam is same as the conventional beam but its depth is restricted and shouldn't be greater than the slab thickness. Therefore, it might be required to increase the reinforcement ratio and width of the beam to overcome the restriction to a certain degree. Talking about the applications of this beam, it is used to help disperse loads imposed on the slab, for example, weight of the brickwork or masonry wall. It allows using a greater span of the slab. Hidden beams are provided exclusively for architectural aesthetic purposes in the building interior and uh, to break a wide panel of the slab into considerable size. Then it is also used around the cutouts to improve architectural aesthetic appearance by providing neat and level ceiling surface to achieve maximum floor height then to clear the way for electromechanical ductwork. It saves floor height clearance. It allows if brickwork needs to be constructed over the slab. Then talking about the advantages of this beam, by providing hidden beam, floor height can be achieved, clears the way for electromechanical ductwork economical and also aesthetic appearance of the building. This is more applicable for commercial buildings. It's economical as it saves the cost of material, formwork and labor. Then at last we would also be talking about its disadvantages. The disadvantage of hidden beam is that it's considerably low ductility because of the height reinforcement ratio that provides to compensate for the depth restriction specifically at column connections. Structurally, it creates a spanning problem as spans of the structural support in a right angle to each other. This means one slab structurally rests on the other. So friends, this is all about the hidden beams, slab beams or we would say concealed beams. This is all about today and thank you for watching.